time to shave and brush my hair today. We've got a quick oil change to do. Got all the tools ready. We've got the dirty turtle, 13 millimeter socket, oil filter wrench, oil filler funnel, new oil filter and Rotella T6. That two and a half gallon jug is the perfect amount. Just tip it in, forget it. That's the right amount to refill it when we're all done. You'll find links in our description below to some of these products and tools. Let's see how long it takes. Start my clock now. Pro tip, put lotion on your hands before you start and that oil will wash off a whole lot better when you're done. Quite often we see them with the band pushed up on there too far. That's all the farther it should go. Not to here. Hand tighten only. This is only for removing it. We don't use that to tighten it back up. Even though I didn't have quite everything ready here, I forgot my itsy bitsy screwdriver to pull the seals off. We still gotta wait a little bit for that oil to drain. Maybe because I'm impatient, maybe because it's raining. Now that the engine's warmed up, we can check the fluid level, parked on level ground. You see that two and a half gallon come to about right there, which to me is a perfect oil change. This is a red van. It is not warmed up, but it has the yellow dipstick, so it's intended to be checked when it's not warm. I borrowed the yellow dipstick from the other van here just to make a comparison. These are lined up at that end. Follow it down to this end, and there's the difference. The yellow dipstick is the one on the bottom. The red dipstick is on top. You can see both of them measure the, the li liquid level right about there at the bottom of my finger. This is a warm engine, so we've got the proper amount of oil in it. The yellow dipstick is made to check when the engine's cold. This van is not warmed up. I just started the engine for a little bit to circulate the oil, and now we're going to take its, take its uh, oil reading. So again, we're going to line up the dipsticks, follow down here, obviously it's reading the same depth. Since this is a cold engine, we want to be looking at the yellow dipstick, and that shows just where I like it. And then just to drive the point home here, two different dipsticks, checking their respective fluids in their proper vans, bottom one here being red van that is not warmed engine at the moment and it's reading you know 75 percent through the full line top one being the one we just did an oil change on today it is warmed up and again you know red stick warm engine 75 percent just where i want it that's two and a half gallons in both of these vans yellow stick check it when the engine's cold but has been circulated red stick means check it when the engine's up to running temperature all right, so I forgot to reset the maintenance assist. I've got a big drive tomorrow morning. I know I'm going to forget it again, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now in the middle of the night. 
We're going to press the mile button until we get the little wrench. There it is. Turn the key on. Press the mileage two times. Turn the key off. Press and hold the mileage while we turn the key back on. Hold it. There it is, 10,000 miles to our next oil change. ready to go back to Walmart, tell him it didn't fit. Just kidding, Jesus. Well, we're getting close now.